Hello, most dear souls. Thank you so much. Just the connection, just the acknowledgement of being with you creates such joy for us and for the channel. We are so grateful that you're here today. Today, we wish to speak to you about presence. What does it mean when you're fully present, when your authentic self expresses without reservation, without mental dialogue saying what you should or shouldn't say? It's when source comes out through you. We know you are moving towards this, and we are so excited because on the earthly plane, it's easy to hide and lie to yourself or other people, put on false airs. But you know it's not right. You know when you're in the presence of that, something is not right if you pay any attention at all. And yet when you are in the presence of someone being authentic, it's a completely different experience. There's a connection there. And most importantly, there's a love flow there. And it's not just that love is flowing, because it is limitless. Source, the universe, it is all love, it is limitless. But you're actually creating more. You're adding to all that is with the building blocks of love. And that takes place automatically when you're authentic, when you're present. So let's speak more about what this presence means. The channel Peter has noticed that there's been a huge uptick in the number of people he sees for individual sessions who just start crying. Soon as the session starts, they just break into tears. And he sits with them and receives it and feels love for them. And this opens them up more. And sometimes hardly any words are shared. But there's this big release that takes place. And it's authentic. Obviously, the person was feeling that and was not in a position that they couldn't could release that. And then they enter into the source or into the presence of source, which the channel can hold. And then it comes out and it's beautiful. It's not like, oh, poor them, they're crying, they hurt. No, it's their authentic self and they're releasing and there's such, such an uplift that takes place. It's sad that it had to go that far and be held so long, but that is the, our journey on this planet. That is why we came here. You see, in the realms you may call heaven, there's a lot of bliss. <laughs> and there's a lot of what you would call serenity and calm. But if you could imagine some of the movies made about heaven where everybody is dressed in white, and there's elevator music in the background quietly playing the same songs. It's nice. There's no turmoil. But there's no creation either. No expansion either. No excitement either. And hence, the company of heaven, you included, barked on the grand journey of physicality separating ourselves from source just a little bit more so that we could start to have more free will and more choices to create new expressions, to expand the universe. It couldn't have been done without coming into this density. And here we are, the brave ones doing it. Yet we kind of got lost along the way, the excitement of it all. We forgot what we were trying to do. We forgot 
that being authentic is what transforms and elevates the experience and sends it back to source to expand consciousness. So we've had eons of just holding it in. And that is the sadness, but it's also the beauty because it's our journey. And those who want to be controllers who say, oh, I like having this power, of course, want to keep this knowledge from us. So they tell you all the things. I'll go do drugs when you're feeling unhappy or anxiety or depressed. <laughs> Instead of fully being authentic and crying until it's done. Ah, uh, You know how the control thing works. We don't need to speak of that. But we are so excited that many of you are just being authentic because you enter the presence. Now, this is very, very interesting because it's you're entering the presence of source. Okay? And that's currently being done through people in certain places who have cleared enough of their own blockages to let this flow through them to you. You can see it in some churches. You can feel it. It's quite tangible in some churches, especially in the little side alcoves where they have an altar set up, often to uh, the Divine Mother, sometimes expressed as Mary. And people will pray there daily, constantly for years. And you can walk into those little alcoves and feel the presence. It's quite wonderful. So it's on places. It's also on people. And when you're in that presence, you get the release and you get the expansion. But it's not just a receiving thing. Neither is it just a sending thing. You see, you're becoming that presence. The channel has been grappling with the idea that source is coming through him. And he gets out of the way and lets Source do its thing. And blessings happen all around him. But he's grappling with the idea that it's not just Source coming through him. It is Source being him or him being Source. And I know this raises the hackles of many people. You can't say you're God, but yes, you are. Go look in the mirror and say, hi, God. Because this is the expression of who you are. We weren't just made in God's image. We were made in God's, of God's stuff to be the cutting edge, the expansion of God. And it's claiming your own Godhood, that source within you that allows the presence. It's a big concept. And we hope you'll invite it in because you you are that magnificent. You are that wonderful. You are that source, essence, being. Of course, there are requisites, right? Right? You got to clear, like we say, clear, clear, clear. You stay with these stuck emotions, and that's what keeps you distanced from source. That's why when people come in the presence of source, when the channel is not blocking it, or when they're in a, in a worshiping place, the barriers just break down because the presence of source is so strong. And what do they do? They have the emotions. So you can just keep being the child and say, okay, I'll wait for God to come by and I'll receive it. Or you can be the beginning of growing up, taking the adventure, leaving the nest and saying, I'm going to go find God and go out and seek it. And of course you find it within and that's when you realize, oh my God, the source presence is me. I am source presence. So that's where you're headed if you choose to allow it. That's who you are. Literally, the presence that you can feel. And it's of great service, not only to the divine, but to many realms. Many realms. The channel has been in contact recently with what you would call the grace, because he can speak to all entities. And it's not an intrusive thing, because he's very clear that he's sovereign and no one can speak to him without his permission. And they politely asked, and he said, what's up? He said, you got something we want. And we tried taking it in the past. It didn't really work, the abductions and things. And 
we'd like to know. And the only thing he has is presence. And they feel it too. They realize that, you see, many of the greys are just us in the future who went down the road of transhumanism and separated ourselves so, so distantly that all the emotions stopped. That's why they could be so horrible and do those abductions. It's not to exonerate or make it all okay. It was terrible stuff. But even those extremes are realizing that presence is the answer and are trying to seek it out. So it'll be fun to see how we make the full circle of going so far away and become transhuman. And then in this future time, realize this is the place to come back to to get it because this is the moment of ascension. Of course, time and space is sticky and squishy, but you know, by now you should be flowing with that. And it's not just the evil ones coming home. What would be the prodigal son would be the most clear example that the channel remembers from the Bible he grew up with. But it's also the angelic realm. They have been assisting us because they know that we are the next step in evolution and that their evolution grows because our evolution grows because they have been cut off, not from emotion, they feel the love and joy, but from the passion of becoming something new. It's outside their realm, even though we consider them higher beings, higher densities, those that we turn to for help. They're helping us because we are their help. That's how big this is. What we're doing affects the whole universe, the whole galaxy, all of creation. And it starts with you, willing to go within, willing to see yourself as source. Feel the presence, be the presence, allow the presence, clear your charges, and then open up and allow. We cannot say that enough. And then you become. So we're going to end this discussion with another transmission. Channel realizing he can send this through his eyes. Not that he's doing it, Source is doing it, but he is the vessel that makes it a connection to you as you watch this video. So sit back, relax, just allow. And if things come up in you, release them. This is that time for tears or laughter or joy. He'll feel it because he's connected to you through us, eventually through himself and source. But for now, in this moment, it's we're taking the lead. So he may be crying, he may be laughing, because that's what Source sees when it looks into your eyes. So please, just allow. And when this transmission is done, close your eyes, relax, and become even more of the God Source being you are. Let us begin.
Sure. 